What is up Capricorn? Welcome to your general timeless reading. My name is Jordan. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I'm a master Reiki practitioner and a tarot reader. If you want to book a personal reading or a Reiki session, I do have a discount going on my website right now. It is nodes22 is the promo code. It will be 15% off all my services. I added some new readings uh, to my website too. So go ahead, check that out uh, for you guys who are just kind of interested in getting some insight for yourself, right? And other than that, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Check out my Patreon channel if you want a free 15 minute reading. I'm giving away free 15 minute readings for brand new and upgrading tier two and three patrons as well. Um, and I will post that promo code somewhere throughout this reading at some point and in the description box for you, okay? Let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Timeless, General. So whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you and take what resonates leave the rest let's see what's going on capricorn i'm really excited for us this year right capricorn rising whatever placement you are if you watch me for a while you know i'm a capricorn rising too personally i feel like the fog is lifting the craziness right and i hope i hope you're feeling that too so sending you lots of love because it's been crazy right let's see what's going on for capricorn capricorn I heard terminology, terminology. Okay, so the way you articulate yourself to people might be changing. You might, okay. Um, you might be getting very like technical with people. Hangman, this is new perspectives. Hangman to me is very, even though it's Neptune energy, it's also very mercurial. Neptune also does rule the, it rules the intuition, right? So it rules like the third eye, the crown, how you connect with source energy. But to me, it also has this very mercurial aspect to it because it is the way we perceive things like mind, intellect, and the way we perceive situations. This is also coming out of that energy of stagnancy. You're ready to move forward, but in turn, you're learning to really, it's, it feels very communication. It does. Um, I feel a very like standing your ground vibe with this. Yeah. Two of wands, queen of pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. I love this. I love this. Yeah, this is really nice. I'm going to take this one because it's just sticking out to me. Ten of Wands. Nice. Closing out the cycle. I'll take these two. Yeah. Oh, there's four. Three. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop there. Bottom of the deck. Temperance in reverse. I'm actually not going to... Uh, I'll leave it. It doesn't really feel like it jives with everything, so we'll see when we clarify, but... I feel... This is an old energy. This is an old energy. The overall energy, it feels like this is what... what yeah, underneath it is the chariot and strength. Yeah. So if you might be letting go of a person or a situation, just to be honest with you, because underneath is the two of cups in reverse, okay? Something that's not in alignment with you. Temperance is also things that are no longer in balance or equilibrium, right? Things that are not in alignment with your higher self, with your purpose. And you're recognizing that. It's kind of like, oh, I'm releasing it. I surrender to it, right? Hang hey, man, you have a lot of majors, a lot of majors and a lot of cyclic energy, court cards, not a lot of like minor. You only have three minors. Everything else is like a major, a cyclic, which is really nice, or a court card. Really nice. Okay, so let's get into it. So you have this new perspective. I really like the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This energy here is a very divine feminine energy. It's like mini Empress energy to me as a reader, but it's looking forward to the new path. It's looking forward to the new. It's knowing that things are manifesting external, um, external to you. It's not really showing up in your tangible reality quite yet because you're still closing out that old cycle that ten of wands sagittarius energy which is really ironic because well i guess it's not ironic because nothing's really a coincidence right uh is actually our current south node so this would be closing out old lessons old cycles it's like cementing something like okay i'm done with that i no longer want to do this i'm very curious as to what this is for the collective it feels it does feel like it feels like boundaries it feels very much so like articulating boundaries or standards expectations uh for self or like your goals like where you want to go and it's just kind of like this is what i want to do with my life don't interfere with it and if you do interfere with it i'm gonna set that boundary like hey you're stepping on my toes right now don't do that don't do that okay seven of wands it's a lot of bravery and then we have the uh four of wands Seven of Wands is the card of bravery, but it's also the card of like assurance. Like it's very self-assured, very confident in oneself. It's a very empowered energy. And you're doing this in order to accomplish a four of wands energy, something that's very stable. The seven minus the four gives you a three of wands. So you're going from the two of wands to a three of wands. This is where the new opportunity is. You're built, so you have a two, a three, then a four, which is really, really nice. You're fighting for a four of wands foundation. Um, 
And then the 10 minus the seven also gives you the three. So you have the three of wands energy twice, which is really, really nice. And then the 10 minus the four gives you a six of wands, which is victory and recognition coming out of a struggle um, into something that is very beneficial. So you have a really beneficial, very positive Jupiter energy, right? Expensive um, energy, which is really, really beautiful. Then we have the devil in reverse, which is your energy, but this is also releasing things that are not of your highest good that are rooted in self-sabotaging behavior or fear or limiting beliefs, right? That's self-imposed prison. Then we have temperance in reverse. I feel like this is you just getting rid of all the imbalances, things that are just out of alignment with you so you can move forward, right? This might be a really difficult step for you. It feels like it's a person. I'm just gonna be honest. It feels like it's a person. It feels like I need you to just back up, let me do my thing because I'm trying to do this thing and you're kind of getting in the way of the thing that I'm trying to do for myself and you're interrupting my thing, so. Okay. Let's, um, let's clarify. Ooh, ah, e, i, o, u. Um, do I want to use revelation? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's use revelations. Let's do that. Wow. All the tarot decks I use actually have them linked down below for you guys. We'll list it down below. I got rid of the links because it was a little excessive. So, let's see what's going on. Let's look at the hangman. Why is the hangman here for Capricorn? Why is the hangman here for Capricorn? I keep hearing timelines with this, timelines. Okay, I feel like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to like explain this. If you had felt as if you were repeating an old cycle or stuck in an old version of yourself or stuck in like a phase of life that you felt like, why do I feel like super, super depressed like I was like years and years ago? Or why do I feel like financially or romantically, I'm really, really struggling like I was years ago. Like, why do I feel like I'm repeating something? you're stepping out of that energy like wait hold up i'm powerful I, I can overcome this like i i've been here i've done this you're realizing it was a test it was a test to see if you could pull yourself out of that situation right have you really learned this lesson um yeah. let's look at the hangman tell me about the hangman please ten of cups Hi! This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. I'm just like so excited for you because you're realizing like nothing is going to get in the way of your happiness, my happiness, our happiness, unless we allow it and give the power to it to stand in the way of our happiness. This is also you having a new perspective on what true relationships and a, an abundance and love, peace, happiness are for you, right? Again, this, this feels like a specific person. It's kind of like, I love you so damn much, but you're corrupting what I'm trying to start for myself. And it's not, remember, it's not, it's not that they are literally corrupting it. You're allowing them to, which is why you're learning the boundary. You're learning the boundary. Let's look at the two of wands. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So in the collective, we've been talking a lot about distorted feminine energy. Nine of pentacles in reverse is telling me that this is someone struggling with boundaries and security. They're struggling. It's kind of like a codependent energy to me, as is the empress in reverse. This is and a distorted feminine energy as somebody who is codependent, right? It is a trait of distorted feminine energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is saying that this new opportunity is allowing you to address these insecurities, allowing you to overcome them, allowing you to see that you are stable, you are confident, you can obtain a healthy Nine of Pentacles energy, but you're seeing like, oh gosh, like this is what I'm being challenged to work on, like my ability to really rely on myself. And it's not saying that if you're in a relationship, you got to part ways, but it is saying that you need to figure out how to be stable and confident and secure in yourself as an individual. That's your test right now. Okay. Because if you want a stable relationship, you have stability and stability in two halves to have a stable whole. Okay. Let's look at Queen of Pentacles. I heard serendipity. Three of Cups. Okay, five of pentacles, beautiful. So here's the two people coming together, getting over the scarcity mindset and also abandonment. There, there's fear of, there, okay, there's fear of not being enough going on here. I just heard not being enough. Um, 
and adequacy because the five of pentacles is also a lack mentality so that would kind of correlate with not being enough not feeling adequate not feeling up to par with partner or just having high expectations okay five of pentacles realizing that that's not the case and with the queen of pentacles it's this energy of okay i feel stable i feel confident in myself i feel like a mini empress now like i'm building my sense of security and who i am and in turn i feel like i can come back together with my person and we can be happy we can celebrate right it's that reconciliation energy okay let's look at the ten of wands i want to see what what is ending here for capricorn What's this ending for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's this ending for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's ending? Why is this Ten of Wands here? I heard the struggle is real. Um, I don't know why I heard Five of Wands. The, oh, Power Struggles. Okay. Seven of Wands, okay. Seven of Wands, this is the boundaries. Five of Wands, I get it, okay, Five of Wands. Five of Wands is the card of competition. That is somebody, okay, so the power struggles. When you're setting your boundaries here, it's to end this energy of power struggle between you and this other person, right? And that's the opportunity. It's for you to have this very independent energy, right? Not this codependent energy. Because that power struggle, it's almost like then you fall into people pleasing or they fall into people pleasing. And we end up with this, well, I'm doing this to avoid conflict and you're doing this to avoid conflict. No, we're done with that. This is a standing your ground energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. So we have a Queen of Pentacles. And so here's the divine partner, right? It's a true pair. We have a King of Pentacles in reverse and a Queen of Pentacles upright. But here's the other person, right? Being very, very stubborn. Very, very stubborn energy. Don't like that. No, toodaloo. Mm -mm. You're standing your ground no yeah knight of cups in reverse they're they're a little manipulative that's a little that's a manipulative energy i don't like that king of pentacles and knight of cups is someone who knows how to sell you on what you want to hear and you're kind of standing your ground like i'm not going to put up with this anymore like no like i need to focus on myself i need to do this for myself and what you're selling me i ain't buying anymore we've done this long enough that's something that you do a lot. I need you to work on that. Be mindful of that aspect of your shadow because it's creating a lot of distortion in our relationship and it's not going to benefit us moving forward. Okay. Yep. Six of Pentacles. You're basically explaining the distortion and the exchange of energy, how it needs to be balanced out, how you need to basically rewrite this contract with this individual. It doesn't feel like the relationship is ending. It feels like the form that it's taken is being rebuilt, which makes a lot of sense because when the nodes switch, it's kind of like, hey, all this thought and passion impulsive behavior air and fire our current notes that we've been in we need to shift it into earth and water stability things that are nurturing things that are stable and long term let's look at the seven of wands yep temperance oh judgment sorry i thought it was temperance it's it's time for this to happen this is the right decision for you to stand your ground for you to be setting these boundaries for you to be um focusing on the things that are of your highest good but doing it in a way that is loving and kind it's not like well screw you no it's not like that it's just like hey i love you and i'm just i'm not i ain't trying to fight i ain't trying to do xyz but there is distortion going on here right it's a ping pong no more so let's get another let's get another on the seven of wands i want to see what you're fighting for or what you are defending i'll take the top one yeah the lovers and the empress yeah okay yeah you're defending the fact yeah oh my gosh you have the lovers and the six of cups and the empress okay beautiful yeah you're trying to basically overcome this prep this energy of codependency and you're doing it you're doing it and you know it's time to do it which is why you're setting boundaries it's kind of poing this other person off though right they're getting a little po'd and it's because you are soulmates you are a very strong soulmate connection and that's a beautiful thing but this has to happen for this to lead into something that's more stable. Okay, so let's, because underneath that is the Ace of Cups in reverse. There was a lack of self-love going on. So you're going back to the things that basically bring you to, to life, that allow you to feel like your real self, right? Instead of the other half of a partnership. Let's just be honest, like our person is not our everything. You are your everything. You are your everything. 
in your heart, can love your person with all that it is, but it also needs to love you. It also needs to love you, okay? Because when you affirm to yourself that your person is your everything, you're falling into an affirmation of codependency. That they are more significant than you and your self-care. Nope. It's not the case. Because without you, what's your partnership? It's not a partnership. It's idealizing a partner. Right? Nope. Let's look at the Four of Wands. Queen of Wands in reverse. This feels very um, Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Tower. Okay. You're standing your ground. You're standing your ground. And there's there's some like resentful like sassiness going on here. There is. There's there's some anger, low vibrational energy going on here, which is making it difficult to close this out. Ten of swords and the tower. We have this four of wands. And then ten of swords. Okay. Queen of wands here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Some of you, this Queen of Wands, I think you're realizing that a lot of your codependency was rooted in another uh, feminine figure in your life, and you're doing a lot of healing around that as well, right? And that's and because the Tower is also sudden realizations. I don't think that this is in regards to the relationship. I think that what's helping you find the stability is realizing, okay, this distortion in my own feminine energy, right? And my codependency came from learning this from another maternal energy. It doesn't have to be a woman, but let's just say like it is your mother or a grandmother or a coach or a teacher or an authority figure, right? It was somebody who was very critical or was very manipulative or was very attractive and very powerful. It made you feel like you were physically not enough because a queen of wands in reverse is a very attractive, a very powerful feminine energy. And it's a distorted feminine energy that is like, oh my gosh, you can't be prettier than me like you can't be more powerful than me you can't be more determined than me and so in turn this queen of pentacles is realizing oh this queen of wands was going through their own ten of swords and i picked up and absorbed all of their distortion and that led to my codependency right the sudden realization and that's where this four of wands comes in okay bottom of the deck four of cups right and three of swords so it was rooted in this feeling of being rejected and this heartache right and that's the realization, hangman. Okay, so we have the relationship with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. But then we have the realization that the queen who's upgrading to the empress uh, basically obtained this energy of codependency from someone else in their life growing up, which is very normal for it to happen. We, we learn our behavior somewhere, right? Let's look at the devil. Let's look at the devil. Knight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. And the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Sorry, it's the King of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. Okay. This is the power struggle. This is both the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Because I'm trying to figure out which one it is. It's both of them. It's both of them. Both of them have this masculine energy of I'm not going, like if, if they're bickering, if they're like, I'm not, it's like this energetic shutdown. Like a king of cups in reverse is somebody who's just like, I'm not going to open up to you. And it's the realization like that's toxic between the two of them. Because the three of pentacles is the card of collaboration. Like they're not working together because both of them are stuck in their head overthinking the situation, right? The analysis paralysis. And that's what keeps them in limbo because nobody's taking the tangible action, like making the offer to really change things to move forward. And if they did, it would, it would progress, right? It, it would be victorious. So let's look at temperance in reverse. This is also the card of patience though. When you have temperance in reverse, knight of swords, this feels like arguments, it does. Because temperance in reverse and a knight of swords in reverse is like this, yeah, and then we have the king of wands, okay. So this might be mimicking something that the queen experienced like um, previously, because you have a king and queen of wands and a king and queen of pentacles. And there's so much going on here. 
There's so much going on here. Knight of Swords is arguments for me as a reader. The King of Wands in reverse is, again, a very stubborn energy, just like the Queen of Wands in reverse. Very manipulative. Um, it's a master manipulator for me as a reader because the King of Wands knows how to manipulate energy. And in turn, with the Knight of Swords, they know how to manipulate what they're saying as well. And with Temperance, that's where the imbalance comes. But that's also similar to this King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, like someone who knows how to sell you on what they're offering you emotionally, right? Emperor, okay. So there's this recognition that this needs to be healed, right? This person recognizes this needs to be healed because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor and the Empress coming in. I'm curious what's underneath it. Seven of Cups, distort, yeah. So they're slowly realizing their own distortion there is going to be a second chance here for this couple, for the Emperor and the Empress, but this King of Swords is really struggling to kind of like accept their own distortion. Sorry, I'm trying to like get this uh, lighting better for you. But this is definitely mirroring a previous relationship that one or both of these people have been in um, at some point in their life, whether it be their parents, whether it be just an old relationship. It's basically repeating itself. And that makes a lot of sense because our nose are about to switch. And so it's kind of like, hey, it's the time to close out cycles. Like, let's make these changes. Let's cement these lessons because we've been through them once before. So here's the final test because it's trying to force both people to really open up their hearts to heal these old wounds so they can really achieve a Ten of Cups and both upgrade to Emperor and Empress energy. But they're so stuck in this fear, this distortion, this illusion that they're really not allowing themselves to connect to their emotions to step into the new cycle. Ace of Wands. Okay. But Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead and book it down below through my website and description box. I love you. I wish you the best. Check out my website uh, for the discount code. Check out my Patreon for a free 15-minute reading. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.